Yes, uh, good afternoon. Uh, so, uh, hope uh, uh, we'll be discussing about the frames with waves. And uh, just uh, as a summary or a recollection of what we discussed so far is, uh, started with the introduction to analysis, then shifted to introduction to STM and the derivation of STM. So notations that is used for the derivation and uh, all this rotation translations are put together in the form of an equation, which is supposed to be your uh, slope deflection equation. Then we have seen the application, continuous beam, rigid frames with sway, without sway. And then <clears throat> steps involved in uh, analyzing your uh, frames and continuous beam uh, using slope deflection method. So started with the uh, uh, fixed end moment, slope deflection equation, then of uh, uh, equilibrium condition, then solving for a theta value and finding the final end moment and finding the reactions to draw the shear force and the bending moment. So these are the steps. Then today morning we started about the continuous beam. So we solved some problems with respect to general cases and we identified what are the different types of uh, uh, shrink case, uh, shrinks that takes places with respect to the continuous beam and then uh, we shifted to frames without sway and with sway <clears throat> without sway what are the conditions how the uh, conditions are satisfying the sway condition and without sway condition all these things we have seen and the last part of the presentation is of inclined members with the uh, frame uh, so hope uh, this is the last part in the syllabus of Anna university and we will be discussing one problem and then I will give you a quiz uh, which will be conducted for a 20 or 25 minutes of time because it is at the level 2 uh, since the, my uh, quiz has been prepared in the form of level 1 and 2. Level 1 will be the somewhat a basic thing which of 1 marks and level 2 will be of uh, somewhat a higher version where you need to use some calculators to find. So uh, maybe it will hardly take 10 minutes or 15 minutes of time. After that, we will solve one or two problems. Then I will summarize the whole session by 2.45 or so. And then we will wind up before 3 o'clock, right? So this is how the plan is. So we will move to the uh, uh, inclined member problem uh, right now. Hope you are able to see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, this is the problem uh, which has a, a frame of A, B, C, D and A, B as a length of three meters and a point load is supplied at the uh, B position with a load of 30 kilo Newton, where your CD has an inclined column of uh, 45 degrees. Uh, so the total length between your A and D is of four to plus three, seven meters, where you are, so only one uh, change here is there is an inclined member, which is supposed to go for a sway, and the remaining your uh, material property and uh, the distance is, uh, Material properties are same, so distance is of three meter and four meter plus three seven meters. So with this, uh, uh, since there is no uh, thing, the external force the, that acts on the member, the like fixed end moment is zero. And as far as the member is having some deflection or angle at the point of D, so we have to think over this one. So let us, let us take the frame. So as you are aware that in the general frame condition, if you take A, B, C, D frame, B, 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 B dash will be your uh, equal to del. So that is what we have seen in the previous case. That is here, uh, maybe uh, you would have seen in my presentation that this part is del, right? Here also we have a same assumption. Uh, let the B moves to B dash uh, once the load is applied. Since the axial deformations are neglected in the point, when we consider C, uh, C, C dash may be having C, C double dash. So that is the point uh, where uh, the final position of your C cannot be C dash because as per the assumption we consider in the slope deflection method, the member DC cannot have an axial deformation. So therefore, CD can have a movement only to the normal to the top C, C dash. Uh, that is uh, your C, C dash is the line normal to the C, D as uh, B, C. B, C can have only a normal moment and no axial deformation that takes places with respect to 
C C dash is taken as normal to C C C dash at C dash. So uh, so now we consider this part. This part is taken into account. So just uh, understand this part alone. So uh, from this point, so this is supposed to be your del B C, and the, the angle between your uh, point that is this angle is supposed to be, uh, be of uh, theta. So del B C del B A. So this is a uh, uh, angle. So C C dash and C double dash. So del A B. So del B A is equal to del. So that we all know. Similarly, del B C is also equal to del. So, but whereas del B C at an inclination C of C dash C of C double dash is del by cos theta. It's nothing but root of two del. So this is for understanding. This has to be known for a deflected uh, position of the frame. With an angle, so now we consider del D A as del del B C B C as del and D C as root of two del. So based on the angle for the different conditions, you, it may vary with respect to the angle that is provided. Yes, the remaining things as usual we will proceed while writing the slope deflection equation. The relative settlement of the ends that is to be carefully considered. So as we are aware that M A B equal to Zero. So since there is no fixed end moment, zero plus two e a by three, two theta a plus theta b minus of three del a b by three. So here del a b we can assume it as a. So theta a will be zero. So del a b equal to del. So substitute the value 0.667 e a theta b. Resolving the equation, you will be getting 0.667 e a theta b minus 0.667 e a del. So similarly, you have to go for your B A. So here also the, the del B A B is considered as del. Uh, so similarly, uh, the equation is the result 1.333 E A theta B minus 0.667 E A del. Uh, for M B C 0 plus 2 E A by 4, 2 theta B plus theta C minus 3 of del A B by 4. So del A B is supposed to be your uh, Value to be taken. So since it is having a negative one, <coughs> the position of C is above that of the point. So we consider right here it is a positive plus minus of minus is plus. So M B C equal to E A theta B plus 0.5 E A theta C plus 0.375 E A into del. So similarly we have to write off for the other positions that is. Uh, um, the C B and C D. So for C B 0.5 E A Theta B plus E A theta C plus 0.357 E A del. So since A B is in the negative position, so it will be converting the plus minus into minus. We consider as a plus. M C D equal to zero plus two E A by five into two theta C plus theta B minus three into del C D. So for del C D, uh, what is the value to be taken as the root of two uh, E two del. So substitute the value here, and you will be getting the value of M D C S 0.4 E A theta C minus 0.339 E A del. So now we have been arrived with uh, six equations, six slope deflection equations. So based on this uh, six slope deflection equation, so as we all aware that equilibrium condition are supposed to be satisfied with the three cases, one two cases for moment and one case for shear. So sigma M Uh, b equal to zero, which gives you for m b a plus m b c equal to zero. Sigma m c is zero, m b c plus uh, c b plus m c d is equal to zero. So we'll be arriving these two equations. The, this is the first equation, and this is the second equation. So keeping these two equations, and we have to generate one more equation. So where we are supposed to calculate go for theta b, theta c, and del three unknowns, three equations. So For the next equation, we have to take the shear equation. So, as you all aware that we have to take the columns A, B, and C, D columns should be taken. Uh, draw the free body diagram that is considered for A, B, and uh, C, D. So, based on the free body diagram, applying taking the moment about B, H A into three equal to M A B plus M B A, uh, taking the moment about the position D, 
the bottom. So HD into 3 plus VD into 3 equal to MCD plus MDC. So now uh, uh, to find your VD value, so about the moment V in the entire frame will be considered. So we'll be getting the final value as uh, uh, 3 HD equal to MCD plus MDC minus 38.57. So applying the sigma H is equal to 0. You will be getting this equation. So finally, after resolving the equation and uh, just it is a new, purely a mathematical calculation, so you will be getting this value into account. So uh, dividing the equation, uh, this equation with respect to this two, so we will be getting this uh, values. Uh, you do the multiplications and subtracting the equations, we will be finding the value of del initially. So your del is 28.480 and uh, from that EA theta C equal to one minus of 1.658, EA theta B equal to 3.97. So if you want to not to go for these kind of mathematical calculations, other than you can use your calculator to resolve this three simultaneous equation and get the values easily. Substitute these values in your uh, slope deflection equation and uh, get the values of M, A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, C, D, and B, C. So this is all about a uh, general condition of uh, calculating the end moments finally, right? So this is a uh, unique case um, since uh, 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 the change in the position of your column with some angle you have to solve. I, I have given you a problem in this tutorial also. You can uh, practice this one. So now I hope uh, uh, frames we have completed. So uh, maybe after this we'll move for a quiz and then we will come back to a problem and then I'll summarize the content. So maybe now the time is uh, 150, you can take up to 210 uh, for your frames. Uh, that is for uh, uh, this one, your quiz. I'll just post the link, wait for some time. So somebody can reply in the chat box whether you are able to uh, assess the link which I uh, put it in the chat box. Yes, if it is opening or uh, if you are able to assess it, please proceed further. I will wait for some time uh, so that you can uh, uh, use your calculators to solve the problem and get the correct answer and uh, update it. Please do it. I uh, will wait for another 15 or 20 minutes of time to get the answers from me. So since in the morning only 27 have uploaded, I expect all 40 to do the process in the second level. It is very important. Please do it.
Good, I received four responses. <clears throat> Hope everybody is, others are doing it. Please do it quickly.
somebody is asking for the link again uh, maybe i think uh, i share the link see very poor response only six have been given the response I'll wait for <clears throat> two, three more minutes so that uh, I request everybody to uh, submit your request so that uh, we'll move to the tutorial. Only 15 received so far. So I think we number 40, leaving all the organizers, we number 40, around 40. Uh, only 15 have received. Did anybody receive the answers once you please submit? Please reply in the chat box. Like morning. <coughs> no. We're oh, not getting it. Okay. <coughs> Wait, I need the things to be done. You will be getting it soon. So those who are submitted, please check. Uh, you might be receiving some mail right now. Uh, your marks and your uh, right answers for the questions which you have submitted. If yes, you can put it in the chat box. So far received 21 response. So I think uh, we can stop the response right now at this point. Or you want some time. If anybody is working on it, please put it in the chat box. Or we can uh, I'll just uh, stop accepting the response. If you have asked for the 
See, what I can understand from the response is that uh, many have, without solving, many have uh, submitted the questions. Since because uh, So those who ask for the weight, one person has submitted, two more had to submit. Yes, Mr. Vijay, I received. Uh, Vinod and uh, Sujita, please, uh, once you submit, you put it in the chat box. Hopefully, two, two more minutes I'll take and then we'll go to the tutorial part of the problem. Um, So far, Mr. Karthik has got 20 out of 20. For 10 marks, I assign 2 marks for each question. So, Mr. Karthik R from, I don't know, early am I. So, please you can uh, switch on your camera and show your face so that uh, Mr. Karthik R. Yes, good. Nice to get the answers. You got uh, 20. Hopefully, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, one more person. Just now submitted, Madam. <clears throat> I will put it in the chat box. Uh, maybe, uh, Madam, you can switch on and uh, see us. Twenty out of twenty. Yes, uh, I think uh, <clears throat> I'll be stopping the response uh, right now. Uh, maybe we'll move to the next part of the uh, schedule. That is, I uh, <clears throat> don't want to take much time on this. Since you have to solve some problem uh, on frames as a tutorial part, 
so how uh, hardly half an hour is taken for continuous beam to solve as per the schedule so one part has to be taken for an, another half an hour for uh, frames so frames may be taken for, uh, for half an hour or 15 minutes of time i'll show the present the problem you can make a note of it once if it is uh, done you can uh, uh, unmute and say yes you have completed that so yes this is the portal frame hope you are able to see <clears throat> Uh, yeah, total frame having different column heights are subjected for forces as shown in the figure. Analyze the frame and draw the bending moment diagram. So you have A, B, C, D, where uh, the length of A, B is of about 4 meters and uh, C, D is of about 3 meters. Uh, point load is applied at the center with the equal distance in the A, B of 30 kN at a distance of 2 meter uh, and similarly uh, bc 60 kilo newton so hope uh, if only this load it will be a commentary or a, it may be taken for another condition but it has a change in the length towards your a b and c d so uh, obviously you have to solve this problem in the way uh, this having a sway so uh, please uh, write down this one and uh, tell me in the chat box or uh, Unmute yourself and say that you have completed the problem so that we will discuss the answer step by step. Please reply once if you completed the problem. You have completed it, yes sir. No, I should check in the chat box. Please reply. Yes, uh, so I hope you have completed it. Somebody have replied. So I will wait for the answers. So, so as you all are aware that um, theta A and theta D will be zero. 
where we are supposed to go for calculating theta b and theta c with respect to the problem and uh, since we have external force that acts on the member so we have to calculate the fixed end moment slope deflection equation and then uh, equilibrium condition satisfying so based on the condition uh, you have to take theta b theta c and del uh, value to be known and find the reactions so and finally you can able to draw your bending moment so one by one we can move find the first step is find the fixed end moment value for the given problem If anyone calculated FKP, you can put it in the chat box. Hope you people are doing it. Some response. there were two persons who were responding but uh, afternoon I think you had a heavy lunch where you were not able to respond uh, yes please somebody can respond what is your FKB since as I told you in the morning this is a training program faculty development training program we have to uh, uh, go with this kind of uh, tutorials expected so we expect everyone to have the calculators the calculators are not there it will take some time to do manually some reply <coughs> minus 15 yes that's right minus 15 kilonewton meter So obviously BA will be plus 15. 
So once it will complete for the CB and CD, you can put it in your chat box. Uh, sir, M F B C thirty yes, sir. F B C thirty kilometer meter minus uh, thirty kilometer minus thirty kilometer meter. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, M C V thirty plus thirty plus thirty. F C D and F B C is zero since it is. Ah, uh, since no. Okay, so now I just uh, put it in the form. FAB is minus 15 kN meter, FBA is plus 15 kN meter, and FBC is minus 30 kN meter, and FCB is 30 kN meter. So, since both the ends are fixed at A and F, so FCD and FDC is 0, right? So, now it is the turn. So, you can take some time since it is an uh, equation that has to be six equations we have to develop. And so you can take the time for developing the six equation plus three equations and tell me what is the answer for uh, your theta B, theta C and del. So that is expected. Or if you are having any clarifications in between, you can check with me with, with your equation for a uh, slope reflection. That is MAB, BA, BC, CB, CD and DC so that I uh, will be telling once if you checked it then you can proceed further with your calculations and uh, exactly you can or you can tell me EA theta B before substitution what is your value of uh, uh, theta B theta C and tell me right yes please proceed
so hopefully somebody can uh, unmute and say what is your equation for mab so so completed this uh, response mab sir mab is minus 15 minus 0.5 eh theta b sir Minus fifteen, minus zero point seven five e a theta b. Um. Okay, sir. You can check once again. Uh, what is the value is? Okay, sir. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, there is a swave towards the right side. Please check, sir. Anybody else uh, regarding MAB and MBA? Yes, uh, are you doing it? Yes. What happened to you? You are doing it. So you used to give answers.
so somebody replied m a b is minus 15 plus e i theta b minus 0.5 e i del right so you can get for b c c b c d and b c so since there is no a uh, deflection that takes place with respect to bc element so your mcb will not contain any terminology of del it will have only theta b and theta c so uh, you can tell me the answers for bc and cb the chat box so anyway after this uh, our maybe by 445 i will show you whether you have completed it or not i will show the problem and tell you the exact answer for the problem and then i will summarize it bc is posted here uh, minus 30 plus ei theta b plus ei theta c exactly right right and you can go for cb cd and uh, bc
Yes, CB value is posted. plus 2EA, theta C plus theta E, theta C L. So can I get the value of MCD and DC? Hope you are doing it. So anyway, uh, due to time constraints, I will be presenting the screen of the problem which I have shown you and I will complete it and then we will move to the summary of the content. Please listen. Hope you are able to see my screen, right? So this is the problem which has been given for the tutorial that uh, a portal frame having a different column heights are subjected for the forces of 30 kilo newton and 60 kilo newton and uh, we have to do the analysis and draw the bending moment so since there is a uh, unsymmetrical problem uh, so theta a and theta d will be zero where your theta b and theta c are supposed not equal to zero hence there is a sphere to be in the right side so we have mentioned about this values fab is minus 50 kilo newton meter FBA is plus 15 kilonewton meter and the FBC is minus 30 and the FCB is plus 30. So CD and DC is equal to zero. So a uh, few have given this equation MAB, MBA and MBC and MC has been told. So CD is of 14 by 3A into theta C minus 2 by 3A into del. Those who have completed, you can check. Uh, DC is 2 by 3A, theta C minus 2 by 3A into so this all six equations are supposed to be taken to understand the unknowns that is uh, uh, theta b, theta c and theta uh, del. So with the some condition. So as well our we have to proceed further with the um, joint uh, equilibrium condition m uh, at joint b, m b a plus m b c equal to zero. At joint c, m c d b plus m c d equal to zero where the shear condition is H A plus H D plus 30 equal to 0. So keeping this condition, resolving the equations, we'll be getting these two equations. So you just do uh, equations to be kept for three unknowns, three equations. We'll be getting the value of three values. That is E A into theta B equal to plus 9.577. E A into theta C equal to minus 7.714. And E A is del is 20.79. So if you substitute this value in your slope deflection equations, you will be getting the moments. So these are the moments. So you can see that what is the reaction that takes place and draw the uh, bending moments. So reactions are supposed to be at the A, A, B, B, C, and C, D. So you can check sigma h is equal to 0. So this should be equal to 0. So once if you find your H, A, and H, T, uh, uh, it should be is equal to 0. So draw the bending moment. So that's all about the uh, tutorial problem. So since we are uh, in the end of the session, so I just want to summarize. So, so far we have completed problems of uh, incline at the end and then we shifted to the tutorials. Now 
it is a final touch of the summary so <clears throat> in general the procedure is very clear so uh, you have to remember certain things that is uh, um, excellent moments and then slope deflection equation so m a b equal to 2 e a by l t 2 theta a plus theta b plus t del by l so uh, you can write this del by l as si and your fixed end moment with respect to a b and m b a equal to 2 e a by l theta a plus 2 theta b plus 3 del l by l plus your fixed end moment at the b a portion so this f m a b are and f m b are supposed to be your fixed end moment due to the loads if there is no lateral transition so del will be zero so normally uh, we don't uh, can use this in the form of uh, continuous or the without slope condition so in the expression so we'll be taking theta a theta b as a rotation at the ends a and b respectively if the rotation is zero for fixed end and the moment is zero for a hinge or the lower support so similarly you, uh, after the calculation of fixed end and slope deflection we have to go for the equilibrium equation if there are m numbers meeting at a joint then the algebraic sum of the moments at the joint is equal to zero so therefore we have a uh, equation summation of uh, i equal to t m i equal to zero for any plane frames algebraic sum of uh, horizontal reactional supports and the external horizontal loads on the columns supposed to be z equal to zero this is a condition which we uh, taken for the frames as a shear condition so that is HA plus HB equal plus of your load external force equal to zero. Uh, this is required to form the additional equilibrium equation in case of a sway plane frame with the sway condition, right? So the solution of your equilibrium equation will give you displacements or primary unknowns. The final moments are obtained by resolving your solar slope deflection equations. So this is the rest for uh, remembrance so that we uh, any part of the problem when we take with this wave. So what are the possibilities of uh, uh, getting this wave uh, is unsymmetrical loading, geometry, and then the horizontal loading, settlement of supports, and any other combination of cases. So that's all about uh, the things. So hope uh, some knowledge has been shared with you people. Uh, you can get uh, two reference material, uh, four presentation material, uh, from the organizers. So whatever I discussed so far has been given in the form of a PDF. You can use it for your purpose. You can enhance it for another uh, with some other cases also. Right. So with this, uh, I'm just uh, signing off. Uh, you can uh, uh, ask any questions if you have, or not on this subject. Any research activities also you can. If you want, uh, we have five or ten more minutes of time to discuss anything you uh, any clarifications you can ask uh, please uh, discuss so hopefully it will be useful those who have submitted your quiz and those who solve uh, tutorials so, So participants, if you have any questions, you can ask Dr. Praveen Kumar. Uh, sir, good afternoon. This is Pamela from Sairam Engineering College. Yes, madam. Actually, uh, it was a wonderful session, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, sir, in, uh, I have a doubt in Matic method. In Babikati, uh, he used uh, the slope deflection method to solve problems in uh, uh, so that is uh, matrix method also. But uh, in some other book, in Vaidhinath and Perumal, they are solved in some other way, sir. Uh, can we go ahead with uh, this uh, Bhavikati book, sir? In matrix method of analysis. You are asking for slope deflection or uh, you are asking for matrix yes, method? Uh, yes, matrix method. In matrix method. Okay. It's in thickness matrix method. In Bhavikati book, we followed a uh, the basics from a slope deflection method. So he solved some problems on, uh, by using this equation, slope deflection yes, equation. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, 
but the thing is madam uh, flexibility and stiffness method it has its own uniqueness where it can be solved in a different way but as far as my understanding if you refer some uh, devadas menon or advanced analysis by devadas menon it will be very useful rather than to use slope deflection in the, there are possibilities even uh, your uh, m by i can be used to get the flexibility uh, matrix and stiffness matrix that is moment area method also Okay. okay. So it depends, but uh, it has its own uniqueness. Where uh, uh, stiffness method is a unique method where uh, we use principle of virtual force, NFC. All these things can be adapted. Okay. Okay. Any supplement to uh, the answer given by Dr. Pravin Kumar? Uh, so she was asking like uh, uh, the slope deflection equations uh, were used in the stiffness matrix method. So definitely, your stiffness matrix method has evolved uh, based on the concept from the slope deflection method, uh, because in the Bhavigatti book, actually, they might have used some equations like this in the formulation of stiffness matrix, like two uh, EI by L. Uh, yes. So the whatever equations you are studying in slope deflection method, that M A B is equal to M F A B plus two uh, EI by L. The two theta a plus theta b minus b delta l. So these are the equations you are using in slope deflection method, right? Yes. So your stiffness uh, matrix equations also. So that stiffness matrix we will be evolved only from the slope deflection equations. Okay. So mm -hmm. so the basically your stiffness matrix method is based on the equilibrium condition. That is f is equal to k into delta. Yes. Okay. So let's say you are uh, k is the stiffness matrix. That formulation of the stiffness matrix. Is derived from your slope deflection equations only. Therefore, uh, it is only an advanced method. So, yeah, in order to avoid a lot of computations manually, so those matrix methods are evolved, like stiffness matrix method and flexibility matrix method. And your stiffness matrix method is uh, dependent on your slope deflection equations. Only. So that's why your equations are looking similar. And Bhavigatti is following that, especially um, your yeah, systems approach. Uh, he has taken the equations of uh, slope deflection equations for the formulation of the stiffness matrix. Whereas in Vaidinathan book, if you can see, they have followed the element stiffness approach. Ah, yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. But at the undergraduate level, normally will expose the students. Only to the uh, systems approach, not element approach. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it is a continuation, as Madam mentioned. So slope deflection, moment distribution, and then it is followed with the matrix method of analysis. It is a continuation. Uh, so the it concept. It is only an extension. Extension of your uh, uh, those uh, conventional methods. So we are following that uh, matrix method nowadays, just to simplify the calculations. That's uh, because we are using computers. So lot lot of things are programmed now. So because of that, we are going for this uh, matrix. So mostly, if you have attended the introduction part, uh, I have given uh, in the slide that it is a continuation where we use uh, advanced method for uh, tools that is software tools, uh, computer structures. If you take either software like uh, uh, Stack Pro, E Tabs, and all, it is based on uh, stiffness matrix method. So if there are no questions, can we conclude the session? So with a note of thanks to Dr. S. Praveen Kumar uh, from PSD College of Technology, Coimbatore. So thank you, Dr. Praveen Kumar, for your I mean, uh, patient uh, uh, handling of sessions for the past two days. So almost you have completed four sessions. So yesterday one session and today three sessions. By uh, giving a complete uh, overview of the slope deflection method. So you, you gave a lot of assignments to the participants also. It was interactive one. And I think uh, at least a few participants have interacted with you very well during the sessions and they have responded through the answers in the chat box. So thank you for making the sessions more interactive and also informative. So on behalf of all the participants present here and uh, on behalf of our own institution, 
So I extend my sincere and uh, heartfelt thanks to Dr. S. Praveen Kumar for accepting our invitation to deliver the sessions in this particular Anna University sponsored faculty development training program. So thank you so much, Dr. Praveen Kumar. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Thank you for your invitation. Thank you all participants for patient listening to the lecture for the last four, hour, four sessions. Thank you all. Yeah, so we can have the group session, group photo session now. So participants, as usual, just up switch on your video. Yes, no, it's done. So thank you once again, Kevin Kumar. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you, all the other participants. Thank you. Thank you, uh, coordinator, madam. Also, thank, thank you for your uh, introduction. And, uh, thank you, madam. Thank you. Madam. Thank you. Thank you. So we can have the next session at uh, three fifteen. So please join for the next session. So I think it is going to be a quiz uh, to be conducted by Dr. Satya. So I'd be, I think that will be an interesting session for you too because uh, uh, so we had a lot of technical sessions from morning. So the last session I think will be an interesting session. So please join with us at 3. So thank you all.